Hello everybody, and welcome to the Day 7 Horde. Now, I didn't do any real exploring during the day. The most you're seeing up here, here I'll show next episode, there was an airdrop over here. So there are some interesting places here that I will showcase next episode. <clears throat> but as you can see, I have a steel sledgehammer. Funny story, I went to drop my crap off and then go to the trader. Killed a hooded zombie outside of the trader. And dropped a bag with the sledgehammer in it. But, let's start reading. So we got recoil with the automatic weapons. Ragdoll. I can now plant more coffee. I can now create contact grenades. I do intend to take explosive still because that's going to be fun. Magnum Enforcer, Unlucky Punks. The last shot in the chamber does double damage. Bows do 10% more damage at night. Do 50% extra sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. 9mm weapons have 20% more range when using a scope or iron sights. Do 10% more damage to safes. And room clearing. Take 5% let. Take 5% less damage and deal 5% more damage when indoors. Now let's get myself set up. Whoops. I do that all the time. You're not a part of the horde. You don't deserve to be there. So, to go into the horde, I have a level 2 little SMG. Double barrel, because I have not found a pump action yet. An AK-47. I did craft myself a tier 1 44 Magnum. And I did take one level of turret syndrome. So as he screws them up over that side, I will be looking on this side. But I'll mostly be fighting with this. Now, what I've been doing down here... This is actually where I'm going to live, is down here. I've never done living underground. I've always lived on top of POIs. And I'm currently just carving it out so I can create basically... A rough duplicate of my base up here. That way, if I have to run away from them, I can simply dive down and I can fight them with another set like this. Now, I've got curved on the outside to stop them from coming in. You know? Now that I think about it. I didn't vulture-proof my place. Now, I'm not going to reinforce them simply because I kind of need a way to get in here, and I made it rather small. So I'm going to be sitting here cracking away with my sledgehammer. And that one's going to be watching my back. This should be fun. So I know you cannot see it, but my farm over there is doing pretty good. I got four spots of corn, four spots of pumpkin... Which go perfectly hand in hand. Because of pumpkin bread. Cornmeal just takes one corn to make. And one pumpkin plus one boiled water. And boiled water is so easy to get over. It might not heal you that much, but with how good it is... Like how easy it is to make. It's just fantastic. And hopefully as the days go on, I'm going to have this rock demolished. That hill I've actually been slowly eating away with with a shovel. 
that rock will be gone. And I don't know if I'm going to actually destroy these buildings that are beside me. I might, just to clear the area out. Just for something to do. Like, go in, destroy everything valuable, rip it apart with the wrench, you know, whatever. And before I go full in... Okay, my volume is down. But yeah, I have the poles on the top side of this block, bottom side of this block. So it's going to work out quite well. I could have probably put them on the top of this block, but to me, this section is simply perfect. And the last time I had some zombies come at me while I was sitting in here, I don't know, they couldn't seem to hit any of my players. And if they can't hit it, then that means it's absolutely a perfect horde base due to, well, stupidity on the zombies' sakes. But everything is reinforced concrete, and the bottom row is steel. All by day seven because I remained focused. Huh, somebody spawned. Yeah, I'm going to see how well I can do with this night without using Molotovs and such. And just beat them with a sledgehammer. This is going to be fun. Come get me, decrepids. Oh, I see you. Oh. Haha, <laughs> I can hit you. You can't hit me. Oh boy. Well, they're hitting. It's reinforced steel. How bad could it get? Oh, what the hell? Okay, it's going worse than I thought. the hell? How did he get in? What the hell? Hey, how are you getting in? Oh, 
don't see any breaches, so how'd that walker get in? No, no, I gotta start working on my gun work. Like, just for reload speed. I wanted to do it with a sledgehammer, but that's not working too great. Ooh, I heard that. Ooh, 350 bucks. That was freaky. I think I found how that idiot got in. In a sense, I think he glitched through. around this place with blade, blade traps. You guys are for not having explosives to thin them.
shit. Come on. Get. Pretty wise, it kind of helped. Other than that wise, it really did not hold. Holy shit. Not bad, though. Yeah, see? It's coming along nicely. And I had to stupidly put this door here. Oh, come on! Really? Okay, that was ridiculously badly timed by the vulture. I'm already inside my house, dingus. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Yet. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I blew through all my damn ammo. Could have reloaded my junk turret more, but I wish there was a way to actually, like, load your junk turret. While it's placed. You know? It's about the only thing that's bad about the junk turret. But yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Can I make... No, I can't. Yeah, I know I'm thirsty. It was on purpose and by design. Thank you very much. Like, aside from needing to get some actual aloe vera at my house... Whew. Small horde base for the win for me. Alright, let's take a look at these levels. So, all in all, I do need another minor 69er to make this thing work. We are going to pump into healing factor. I am going to have to put some points into fortitude. Get up to level fortitude three? Yeah, I thought so. Hey. That was nuts, and I loved every second of it. Okay, so. I have a shitload of stone, right? Should have some more stone laying in here somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Boop, boop, boo, doo, doo, doo. Have you running for a decent length of time? Yeah, I'm out of cement to repair, too. I was focusing on steel. Which doesn't help very much.
Even though I know Horde Day's dead, just in case something happens, I'd rather not quit. But we will be talking about how things are going to go moving forward. So we have now seen just how poor Horde Night went. Like, it went good. I lived. But I was severely underprepared. All in all, I think my little... I think we should call it a Horde Stand. Because it's not really a base. I think it's going to do just fine for what I need it to do. It's just too small. So because of that, the zombies were able to get to me in a very, very decent way. Like, they almost broke through, and by knocking them down, they slid through. I'd forgotten to place one more line of defense around it. And that is the plates. I already know how I'm going to do it. It's just the fact of I forgot. So I got a lot of repairs to do. But despite needing to repair so much, I'd say, full disclosure, it was a complete success. I mean, the next Horde day is going to be fun. One, two... One, two, boop. There we go. But yeah, I'll keep doing my usual shtick. Except I'm going to take day eight here to actually, well, farm and keep everything up to snuff and hopefully make most, if not all, of my repairs. I'm down here gathering the iron because steel is going to take me quite a bit. And it gives me a little bit of stone per hit, which is nice, which I can easily convert to, uh, sand. So that I can make the concrete mix. Because until I have the 4x4, I'm not going to spend a night down in the desert. Like, full disclosure, I'm not going and spending a night down in the desert until I actually have a vehicle that's worthwhile. Okay... Your support strut. But what does everyone think? Because definitely Molotovs are going to have to be a thing, so I'm going to need some gasoline big time. I gotta spend more time focusing on getting those measures for next horde day because next horde day is gonna be even worse. And we all know it too. I gained three levels this horde night though, so that's always a bonus. I should go get my hammer. I don't like frames holding up the ground. And of the entire night, only one random-ass vulture came after me. That was great. Come on, where'd I put you? There we go. Yeah, all in all, I'm not disappointed with my horde night. Oh, far from it. That was fun. Stressful, which I have not had in quite some time. 
though it did prove that even with my heavy armor, I need to get my light armor back on. So I need way better light armor. Because right now I'm wearing scrap armor level 6. I've only taken perks into light armor. So clearly that was also a little bit of my undoing. That's no fun. But, like with every seventh day horde, at least I've killed it off prior to the morning. It's been a very long time since I've actually had a horde day of any kind actually last till morning. I forgot I had a helmet on that gave me that. Yeah, we'll get some blade traps, probably put out rope spikes to stop the initial waves. Grab myself a few Molotov cocktails. Take the explosives perk a couple of times so that my explosives deal more damage. Might as well. So, are there any other games anybody would like to watch me take a hand stab at on my channel? Because I'm pretty much at the point of I just play what I feel like playing. But is there anything anybody would like to potentially watch me get my butt handed to me with? I think it could be fun, and I'm always taking recommendations. Or, with the Horde base I've currently got in place, do you want to see me do anything specific to it? I want to hear these things. If anything, you could even tell me your Horde Knight horror stories. Like where the Horde Knight was going absolutely fantastic, and then say all of a sudden... Four demolishers showed up clear out of the blue and blew a big hole in the side of your base. Ooh, I found lead. That's always nice. Or even tell me when you were watching this. Were you eating anything? Were you just relaxing? Like, I want to hear about your guys' day. I want to know more about those that watch me and the types of things they like, their interests and such like that. Gives me things to talk about. Like, aside from playing video games on PC, I do also play on console. I've uploaded some live streams for my PlayStation 4. I've got my Xbox One, which has almost sat here collecting dust simply because my internet's being a little floopy lately. I do have a Nintendo Switch, but I do not have a capture card, so I can't actually showcase any games on it. And aside from Seven Days to Die, I'm still going to be bringing some more Ark Survival Evolved. As to which map I'm going to play, it'll probably be a little bit more of Genesis, because I'm actually really enjoying it. And I'd like to think I'm doing pretty good on it. Since I know nothing's going to come and mess my day up by the time it's over, I will see you all in the next episode of the Novice Game Adventures. I'm going to probably go check out those houses that... that I was uh, running around in when I 
first started, just at the end of the street, to hopefully obtain some warm clothes for taking on the cold biome. But yeah, for the next Horde day, if I can get the stuff right, I'll be pretty much messing around with turrets, blade traps, should I have them unlocked, such like that. And with that beautiful morning cue, that is it, that is all. I will catch everybody next time in the next episode. See ya! Bye!